We're here with Yankee Itzkowitz and Archie Eichhorn. You guys are supposed to be the dynamic duo, but the three losses that your team has in the season is when you're both on the field together. Uh, you guys are going for a bye tonight, and the other team is actually trying to make the playoffs. Um, do you know much about that team? And uh, tell me about your little mis miscues together when you play together. I thought you guys were supposed to be a tag team. <laughs> That's quite good. Uh, Come on, we're fun guys. Yeah, we're just having a good time. We're just having a good time. We want to keep it competitive. And eventually comes playoff time. You have to remember, the regular season is just practice. It's just practice. So All Arch, right? Arch, let me, and also Yankee, because last week you hit about 19 balls over the fence. I would say about 12 of them were fouls. So try to keep it in, uh, in play today. Uh, that would be very helpful for all parties involved. And no, uh, seriously speaking, good luck tonight. Uh, Mark just pulled up. Uh, he was vintage, one player of the week. Uh, you won player of the week shout before? Shout out to Yaku Weiss. I want to give no, him credit. No, no reason game. To, we're, we're if he was a runner up, shout out to yeah. him. He actually won player of the week as well. We had yeah. four of them. So, either way, good luck tonight. Uh, tough, tough task. Their season's on the line. Very tough to face a desperate team, always. So, Thank you guys you are. Thank you, for you, you got it. Enjoy. We're here with Sammy Sarfati, the three and seven usual suspects. Going into this year, you guys had such high hopes. You have a high octane lineup. Uh, you guys have the defense and Yoni on the mound, you know, theoretically you guys should be a playoff team. It's not over yet, not over yet. Tonight you have a tough, tough task, the 7-3, uh, fighting for first place in a bye. What is your mindset going into a game like this? We got to score runs. Seven straight losses, 14 total runs. You guys started so hot, it's absurd. You don't, you don't win soccer with those numbers. Let me ask you a question though, Sam. Is there anything in specific that's holding your team back? Like, what? Not hitting. Not hitting, the, the, but the, the, the chemistry is there? Hit, the bottom does it. The bottom gets hit, the top does not We're not clicking, we'll click. We got four more. Is Yoni here tonight? Yeah. Well, I didn't see him. Uh, Real Yoni's here. He might not see him. Yeah, good luck tonight. We're here with last week's Player of the Week, Mark Cohen. You dominated. Uh, Mark, what is the secret to your success? Uh, did you put something in the sauce? Like, tell me what's going on. Great team players. Great team playing. And uh, we just went in there as one unit. And we played like a unit. And we came out with two wins. Mark, it's no secret that a few years ago you dominated this league and you took your team to the World Series, if not one, uh, multiple times. And it looks like you had a little bit of a hiccup last year, but it looks like you're back uh, where you belong. I think it's because you went on that diet. Uh, you lost all those LBs. And Mark, let me tell you something. When you're going well, your, your team is almost impossible to beat. Uh, you're going up against a team that's desperate. They're three and seven. Uh, any mindset change? Uh, do you know much about their offense? Anything. I know all these guys, and you just got to go and attack them. You attack them, we start strong, we end strong. Mark, good luck tonight. Thank you. Adam, you're a veteran in this league. Clint, uh, Clint have, Frazier. Have you, Clint Frazier, walking away. Except Clint Frazier's 24, you're like not 24. So, Adam. Clint Frazier, baby. We saw you in BP taking a monster hacks. Uh, your offense has been anemic this year, the usual suspects. Um, you're kind of back against the wall. Uh, what do you think is going to go down tonight? And do you think the fortune will change? Do you, what's going on with you guys? I hope uh, that the couple of subs that we got are players, and I hope they come through. And if we play our game, we should win. Uh, you can't be relying on your 11th and 12th round subs. I think you guys have to play from up top over there. It's so. a good point. Uh, if, our, if our regulars play up to their potential, we should be fine. Well, listen, you guys desperately need wins tonight. Good luck. Thank you. Jack Carrari, fresh off the team bus. Uh, Jack, talk to me. What is going on with the usual suspects? I'm having a tough time. I'm having a tough time, but um, I'm excited to you know get these games in, get get a couple of wins, one one game at a time, and one game at, you're giving me that uh, one game at a time nonsense. Bottom line is you control your own destiny. We do. You come out, yeah. You I know. Control your own destiny. You got to do what you got to do. Uh, no one's out of the race yet. Listen, we're, we're changing the, changing the lineup around a bit. Um, we are just going to try to see what works, and we, we need a hit. We haven't been hitting. That's, That's the, the bottom, bottom line. You guys are actually, everything's clicking but the offense lately, so good luck. Elliot, man, four rubies last week, three for six. You're coming into your own. Uh, I know you took the last few years off, as we discussed in the show a few weeks ago. Uh, you're on an amazing team. You're seven and three. Uh, tell me about your comeback season and, you know, overall general you know, perspective of the league. Uh, definitely had to shake off the rust. The league's a lot better than what it was with the addition of a lot of your Crown Heights and Five Towns guys. 
Um, it's a lot of fun. Though. Well, you're playing with two of the best. You got Archie and Itzkuis. Yeah, and Archie. You got Marcus Humming on the mound. So everything is looking good. But let me tell you team. something, though. I don't know if you know about this. Your three losses you have on the year is when Archie and Itzkuis are actually playing together. I know. We've so. heard. So we got to break that curse tonight. We'll so get two now. And you're going up against a hungry team. So good luck. Nice. Vic Busu, you're catching Mark Cohen in his renaissance year. Tell me some perspective from behind the dish. So this year, he's been, you know, keeping him under control, trying to get first pitch strikes. Word around the league is you are the reason for Mark's renaissance here. He needs a catcher of your experience. I don't think it's me. I think it's just, you know, not trying to strike out everybody, trying to get them to put the ball in play. And, you know, we just go over every time. We don't have to strike out 12 guys a game. Just put it in play. We got great defense behind us, and we'll get the So outs. like I said, because of your calming presence, that's why Mark is playing. I think I that you, you attribute, a lot of it's attributed to you, I do believe. Um, tonight, uh, good luck. Mark is uh, coming off two days rest. So we've seen how he is in the past. Jekyll and Hyde off two days rest. Uh, I think a lot of uh, pressure is on you to call a good game. I think we'll handle it. I mean, listen, this is the Homer Dome, as they like to call it here. So we'll, uh, you know, we'll do our best. But you know what? Even if he has an off day, we'll have our bats to back him up. Oh, good luck, Vic. Thanks. The happy Major League squad. You guys are tied in first place. Going into shovel war. Eat and run, baby! Yeah, I call, I call. Mark, you look great tonight. Thank Two you. wins again. You have four wins in uh, three days. Uh, unbelievable, Mark. Tell me about tonight. Well, pitched last night in the five pounds, so it's five and two and a half days. But our team just didn't want to give up. That's that the win is for these guys. They're the best. And Mark, you had all the way. both games you had struggles in the first inning, and you settled down. Pitched great, Mark. Thank congratulations. You. You're a first place team. Thank you, baby.